Hello, hello, it's Nan. I am here with part two with uh, From Scraps to Masterboard to TN. Basic. If you want to go look at the first one, you can. But I've gotten to this point where I put a piece of washi on the spine to support the spine. On the inside, I covered it with uh, old music paper, but I've used some of the Rain Direct Distress ink to give it a little more antiquated look. And I've also added a matte finish to the top part of the cover. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, yes, there we go. To take a posh matte finish that I put in. So today, what I want to do is go ahead and put the papers inside and let's see how that works out. I've folded my papers in half. This is not your normal copy paper. It's a little thicker. It's eaten paper. I forget the measurement of the paper and the thickness. But I'm going to go ahead and lay that within the cover. And I have two huge clips here that are the ones I always use to hold my papers in place. And I push really hard so that it reaches the end of the spine. It sits in there nice and snug. I will put a clip. I'm gonna go this way first. And then I add this second one to the bottom. It's really late here, it's about two o'clock in the morning. Can't get to sleep, so. I decided to go ahead and finish my part two of this video so you can get an idea of how I'm putting this little TN together. So, I have the cutting mat. Tools, you'll need a ruler, your calf knife. I have some upholstery thread that I thrifted, but you can find some of the wax string on Amazon. And I purchased this one first, but I found that the this dowel the, made the holes a little too big, and then I've I got this one on Amazon, which works perfect. So you take a ruler, and just lay it against the book cover. As you're gonna have to be precise on this one so that you don't cut into the cover and you're just cutting the paper. So you put your ruler on the edge. Make sure those clips are lying off of that mat so you don't you get a nice clean cut. Then, when I first started making these, I, I, I found myself pressing so hard that it was hurting my hand, but if your craft knife is sharp, you can just easily go down. And these papers will come off nice and easy. You have to do this quite a bit to get to the bottom, but you'll get the feel of the mat once you've gone through to the bottom. And there we go, I just felt it. But I'm gonna run it through one last time. Remove all the papers. And you get yourself a nice clean cut. So, we will proceed to do the top part. So I'm just gonna remove one clip. Turn my TN over and do the same process on this side. Get as close as you can to the edge. And just slowly cut, take your time. And that paper is going to come off very easily. Doesn't matter how thick it is. And there we go. I've cut right through, but then I wanna go one last time to make sure that it's precise on the top edge. And there we go, nice clean cut. So, once I have cut my paper, we move on to the next thing we have to do with it. So I'm going to remove some of the stuff to the side. And the one thing I did forget was we're going to need a needle. So I also purchased this as a set. The dowel, some string. It has several sizes on it. So I'm getting sort of a medium-sized needle. Move the other items to the side so that nothing is obstructing your way 
while you were putting your insert in. So I'm going to lay that here. Hold on to it there. I pretty much, since I've already done this many times, I rarely put, and I'm only talking about these here, these simple, simple tans. I rarely put one of these on here to hold it while I put the holes in, but you can go ahead and do that. And you can actually put the other one on too. And as you can see, it's touching that end of the spine. And then what you're going to do is, you're going to go once, twice, and a third time. That's about all you need of string to get that done. Okay, put the yarn on your needle, then you're going to get your dowel. You're going to measure. I'm pretty much, I pretty much have, <laughs> I'm bad at math, but when it comes to eyeing something in the center, I'm pretty much pretty good at that. But you can use your fingers and just, and that would be the center. So what I do is, I'll hold the dowel there. I will bring the cover down. And then I will push through. There goes one. Then you get, at this point, if you want your string up here, you can. You can bring it a little closer. Let me double check that to make sure it went through right. Yeah, good. I'm going to put it around here. I don't want it all the way on the top. Do the same thing, but bring the cover down. Push it through. You've got to be as straight as you can. That's why when you bring the cover down, it's easier to make a straight puncture. Do the same thing there. And there we go. We got our three holes. It's going to be a three hole pamphlet stitch. So we're going to take our needle. We're going to enter the first hole. Push it through. Okay, you're going to make sure this one here does not come out when you are pulling that string. So then this one is just to make sure. Yep, as you can see, the needle will go straight through. Go back through the same hole. If I can do that, and bring the page down. This is how I did it. There we go. Went right through. Now, when I go back in the center hole, what I like to do is I will pull the string this way. I'll grab it with my pinky. I'll wrap it around my pinky and pull snugly and then turn the needle at an angle to go through there. That way I do not pull on the string. That's my method of doing that. And it came right through without pulling the string. And then we go into the third hole. If I can actually find it, here it is. Pull that page so it goes right through. Oops, not always exact on the first try, but there it is. Just wiggle a tiny bit. Nope, that's not it either. So the page has moved a little bit, but that's okay. There we go. And it's there. Okay, pull on this one. Take your needle. Go under here. I'll give you a better, when you go to sew the knot, it'll hold on a lot better and be more snug. You can go ahead and take off your clips. It can become a nuisance. And all that's left to do is to tie your knot. Pull snugly. Tie once. Tie twice. And measure of good luck. Three times. You could either leave it long hanging, add a bead to it, or 
just cut the excess off. I think I'm going to let it dangle just a little bit. And that is my TN created from a scrap master board. Simple. I choose not to put a pocket here or any embellishments inside because this one I'm specifically using it for my doodle doodling journal. I like to draw. So that's what I use this one for. And I do want to create a book plate on this. So I've already pulled some pieces out. Oh, I love it. I love the way it looks. It'll replace the one that I already have that I'm almost finished with. And I've chosen a, ta a store tag that I want to create a book plate for this to end. So what I've done is I've got my scrap container there, but I went ahead and already pulled out bits and pieces, and I'm not sure what the end results are going to be, but it's pretty much what I'm going to be using for my book plate. So I'm going to add some paper in here first, and since it's paper on paper, I will use my almost glue. And I think I'm going to use a piece of parchment paper in there first. Just be liberal with the glue. And let's go with the parchment. I'm not going to be too picky about the paper coming off the sides. I think it's going to look really nice. And then I want to add some of this paper that I have with the gorgeous writing on it. And I'm going to put that on this side. Like, let me see. Like so. Okay. And you could just build your layers, one on top of the other. I do like the cheesecloth. I like cheesecloth. Just give it dimension, but it makes it looks it makes it look finer. Would you use the word finer? More dainty, more I don't I don't know what you, word I would use with it, but it makes it look so nice. That cheesecloth just does it for me. Okay, there's a piece of cheesecloth, and then next I am going to use my tacky glue to add some ribbon lacy ribbon. I'm just going to go over it on the top. Got to be careful because when you put glue on the cheesecloth it tends to pull the cheesecloth and I will put that here. Tapping it gently. Eventually I'll, as I put the layers on it, I will push it down a little more so that it adheres a lot more snug. Then this one, crisscross, and I will put a piece of burlap on this side. If I hear some humming, that's my heater. We are at freezing weather, it's supposed to snow pretty soon. It's getting too cold. I'm dreaming of a warmer weather already. Here's another one going this way. And I found this within my scrap bucket. And it says, yes, you can. I don't know what I was going to use that for. But perfect. I'm okay with that as part of the, the book plate. So I found this $1 store sticker. And I'm not pretty much wanting it because of the rose, but because of the shape. 
So I wanted to add this right on top of there, and I like the effect of the leaves coming out from the from the top and the bottom part. Reminds me of that little book of the train. He's going up the hill, pushing himself up up the hill, running himself. He can, he can, he could do it, he can do it. Okay, so we have this so far. And I'm going to take this over here. I will add a little more glue in that just to make sure that it does not come off. Because I know this has a thin layer of glue on it, but it's not. And that looks pretty nice. And I wanted to make it simple. I mean, you can go around and add anything you want popping out and underneath other pieces of material, ribbon, anything. You can even dangle something from it. But I wanted it to be simple because I already have two other inserts in there and the bulk will might create an issue. It's not thick enough. The the traveler's notebook that I have, the it's leather. And once I glue this on here, I think that is really, really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on the back of this. Glad it cannot be seen, but it's usable. It's nice and sturdy. I do have the metal book plates, but I just, I like use, I like to recycle things. we go with my book plate. I'm going to put that right here and then push down a little more. If you want you can add the corner protectors to the TM. At this point I don't feel it's necessary but I'm liking the results and this is the final product of my master board, my scraps to master board to TN, front, back. You can also embellish the back if you'd like to. I'm going to leave it simple. Three pamphlet stitch, washi for, for spine support, matte finish, papers, music paper to cover the inside covers. A three hole pamphlet stitch, and we are ready to go. Thank you for joining me. Have a good one. Come again soon. Bye bye.